Six lads standing in a carousel. An impromptu stage beside Bella Italia. Raven coloured blazers, a tangerine football, an audience from pensioners to prepubescent. They juggle the ball in scuffed shoes. It zigzags around the circle. Textbooks in rucksacks are a pitiful challenge beside keeping that ball from that concrete. One fringe rock hard with gel beside an afro which bounces like candy floss. I watch them, transfixed, at 28 years old. I'm wearing size 11 dockers and I'm carrying a bag but I still feel my right leg twitching. There's a gaggle of girls by a bench, no doubt heaping pressure on the boy that's in possession. For filming on Snapchat and giggling behind fingers, eager to be impressed as the crowd starts to swell. Inches punctuate elbows as shoppers jostle for position and one man in particular summons my attention. The way he watches that football as though it's a pianist or a ballerina. His walking stick with the rhythm of the kicks tapping on the precinct. His afro grey and thinning on top. Crow's feet and wrinkles, but his eyes belie his age. He's vicariously guzzling at the fountain of youth. The crowd begins to cheer with every kick. Faces contort with concentration. Beads of sweat begin to trickle before they're joined by a shirtless youth. He bounds into the centre, boots the ball high and mighty and then bows to the booze. Gurning and foolish, he shattered something beautiful. Turquoise bus won. Tangerine ball. Nil.